Over the last 18 months, Russia has deployed additional warships, aircraft, troops, and advanced missile systems to locations across the Crimean Peninsula. This is clear from new satellite imagery that was published by Defense One, and this buildup over the last 18 months follows a pattern that first began back in 2014 when Russia first annexed the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine. Since then, Russian President Vladimir Putin has doubled the number of soldiers there, bringing it up to about 32,000, and he's deployed 680 armored carriers and about 100 aircraft, including nuclear-capable Tupolev Tu-22M3 bombers. Jeffrey Lewis of the Middlebury Institute of International Studies told Defense One just how noteworthy the scale of this buildup is. And he said that Russia now has Crimea bristling with missiles like a hedgehog. The Middlebury Institute also said that the nature of this buildup shows that it's not just about Russia being able to defend Crimea, but it's actually about Russia posturing itself to be able to project power well beyond its immediate environment. And that has NATO, which is made up mainly of European countries, under increasing pressure from allies in the region to show that it's able to push back against Russian attempts to gain greater control of the Black Sea. The Middlebury Institute said the combination of Russia's buildup in Crimea and the pressure for Europe to respond to it creates, quote, a really dangerous environment. This really dangerous environment in Russia and Europe, which is becoming evident to more and more analysts, was forecast by Trump editor-in-chief Gerald Flurry back in 2014. Shortly after Putin annexed Crimea, Mr. Flurry wrote an article called The Crimean Crisis is Reshaping Europe. He discusses prophecies recorded in the books of Daniel and Revelation, which show that a block of 10 European leaders will unite in the end time, and they'll form a military powerhouse that will unleash a huge amount of destruction in World War III. Mr. Fleury emphasized that one of the factors that would persuade the European nations to lay aside their differences and unite would be fear of Russia. In the five years since that article was written, Russia has become more aggressive, more militaristic, and more provocative, including with its ongoing buildup there on Europe's doorstep in Crimea. Mr. Flurry makes plain that these developments will soon escalate into unprecedented worldwide conflict, but he emphasizes that connected to these trends, there is also great cause for hope. For insight into what the future holds for Russia and Europe, and to understand the hope that is intimately tied to these developments, order your free copy of Mr. Fleury's booklet, The Prophesied Prince of Russia.